Sam Youngham of Korea. And making his way to the red corner. And here comes Umeha, very experienced, much decorated fighter. Silver medal at the Rio Olympics, followed by a gold at the World Championships in Hamburg in 2017. He's picked up medals since then at silver at the European Games in Minsk in 2019. Made it to the Olympics again in Tokyo a couple of months ago. Got knocked out by Keyshawn Davis, who had a good, good tournament, the American, losing out to Andy Cruz in the end. But he was up at 63 kilos there, Umiha, which doesn't really suit him. His World Championship win in 2017 was at 60 kilos at lightweight. That's what he is. But with the Olympic weights around his ideal weight being set at 57 kilos, that was too light for him. And 63, he was stuck in the middle. So this is back to his preferred weight division. Tall, kind of lean fighter, Umeha. Elusive, good feet. Boxes mostly off the back foot. Sam Youngham looking to try and come forward, which Umeha won't be unhappy about. Looking for the body there, the Korean. Short right hand there from Umeha, and again a couple of lefts. He's got real sharp hands. The punches don't travel all that far most of the time. Good examples there, but he's got quick hands. <laughs> Launching himself into a left hook there. Ham. Caught on the gloves mainly. Look for the uppercut there. Umehar, jab comes in from Ham. Umehar, again, just trying to find space for that, that right hand up the middle, that uppercut. Maybe he's seen something, feels that the Korean is, is open to it. He, he is walking in. Does lean in a little bit. The fighter in red. And looking aggressive, trying to bring the heat here to Umehar, trying to put him under some pressure. No respecter of reputation here. Sang Myung Ham. Started boxing very young, Umaha. Just seven years old. Had a motorcycle accident, actually, whilst he was on holiday in, in July 2018. That took a little bit of recovering from. Right to the body there from Umaha. Nice one, too. Hand with the left to the body. He's doing pretty well here, actually. Sang Myung Ham. He's having some successes. Umaha is having more success, I would say, of the two. Right hand there from Umaha as he moved away to his left, just through that right. He's trying to bring the heat here, Ham, and at times doing a pretty good job of it. Every now and again, he just tends to follow Umaha around the ring a bit. But for the most part, He's had a pretty good round here, I think, the fighter in, in red, given who he's up against and the golfing experience between the two of them. Staying on his feet in between rounds. And some split scores there. Two of the judges going in favour of Sang Myung Ham. As I was saying, he 
he had a good round there, I thought, he put plenty into it, showed some intelligence. I didn't think he did enough to win the round, personally. I'd have gone Umaha's way, but I was singing his praises towards the end of the round there, Ham, so I can't complain too much about him getting two of the cards with the with the judges. It wasn't one-sided by, by any stretch. I thought the, the cleaner punching, counter-punching generally, did come from Umaha. That's not a bad example there, actually, that final replay. Ham just closing in, putting Umaha under some pressure, let go with three, four shots, didn't really manage to land any. Then Umaha just came back with a sneaky little right hand and that was, generally speaking, what tended to happen throughout the course of that round. I'm again just caught with a right hand there as he tried to close in on the ropes. Just sticking out that left hand there, Umar, looking to try and measure for the right, looking for the uppercut, attempted the uppercut a couple of times in the first round. Hasn't quite managed to get it through. Ham's just squeezed it out, dropped those elbows on it. Right to the body from Umaha, then looked like he was going to roll out to his right and didn't, stayed where he was. Right hand from Umaha as, as Ham tried to take a step across to his left hand side and block him in let's go with that left hand that every now and again he he just throws a little bit wildly ham he's so keen to get hold of umaha and and catch him when he throws that jab he tries to set it up off the back of the jab that's when he looks like he might have more success ham, good movement from him there Just offering the head there, Umaha, then pulling it back. Throws the right hand. He's one of those fighters where he always looks like he's in range, Umaha, a lot of the time, because that's the pose he strikes. He's just offering up that head. It makes it look like his weight is heavily on the front foot, when actually it isn't. Because he's just bending at the waist, hinging at the waist to lean in with that head, as I say, offer it up as a target, try and get you to go for it, fall short, and then he'll counter. Nice couple of punches there, followed by the right hand from Umaha. One, two on the inside, then the right hand. Final few seconds of round two. There's that uppercut that he's been looking for. And round two has been similar to round one. The clean punching, the better punching has come from Umaha. Increasingly, as we've got towards the end of the round here, even that cheeky little right hand lead there. There wasn't much on that at all, but it landed. Pretty clear round that for Umar. And reflected by the judges, so he's got that two-point lead now with three of the judges, which is that tipping point, really. You've got that kind of lead with three of them going into the final round, then it makes it very, very difficult for your opponent. The other two are level. What it means is that Ham is going to need to register... A 10-8 with at least one of those judges who's got Umaha ahead win the two level cards. Which he obviously would if he managed to get a 10-8 with one of the other judges unless there's a huge disparity in scoring. But it's unlikely, you would have to say that. But he's done well, I think, Song Myung Ham. Up against a really good operator, a very, very experienced fighter. And he stuck to his task. Looking to try and cut that ring off, as I say. Get up close. Keep that head on the move on the way in. 
Move in behind the jab. Looks for the right hand there, Ham. Looking for that uppercut again there, just touching with the jab. And then trying to sink that uppercut in. It's been a good watch, this fight. As I said, in Ham, you've got someone who's really tried to bring it, tried to put the pressure on. Has not looked overawed by the task ahead of him at all. And Umahar has done his thing in, in good fashion, to good effect, and he's had to because if he'd been off his game here, then Ham, I think, could have, could have exploited him. Short little right from Ham. Well into the last minute, and Sofyan Umaha will go through here, and he will be up against the fighter we just saw, William Tanko. That could be an interesting fight, actually. I think Tanko will really fancy that, pitting his wits against somebody like Umaha. Both good movers in different kinds of ways. There goes the bell. Big smiles there from Umaha. He'll be going through to the next round. But a good effort that from Ham. So Umaha takes it by five cards to zero. So he got that final round with all five of the judges, which made it three rounds to nil with three judges, two rounds to one with the other two. Sporting League just holding the ropes apart there for Ham as he exits the ring. But it was a good fight, good competitive fight. I don't think Ham could really have done any more there. So he's got no cause for regret there in the slightest, I wouldn't say. Umaha will be one of the favourites in the lightweight division. As I say, the redrawing of the weight divisions for the Olympic Games didn't do him any favours because he is a dyed-in-the-wool, 100% 60-kilo fighter and has been for a long time. So the fact that 60 disappeared did not 